Today we started studying the anatomy and life of a shark. The boys were still finishing up some work so I took the time to spend a little bit of learning quality time with the little one. They don't have to eat each other's heads. Yes, it's called a school of fish. What's it called? Goofish. Yes. Fish. It's one goofish, but it's just a big one. Yeah. If it's a whole lot of fish together, what's it called? Goofish. A school of fish. <laughs> Look at that turtle. <gasps> it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to pull out sight words that are appropriate for her. Vanna, can you spell fish? F I S H. <gasps> Good girl! We spent a little bit more time looking at all the beautiful creatures under the sea, and then we grabbed our shark reference books to get started. Okay, that says middle depths. Okay. That says comparing skeletons. Okay. Muscle power. We watched another program on Netflix about shark research. I try to always put on the captions when we're watching programs because it's a great way for them to read along. Then we just moved on to looking at some of the other shark resources we had. They read the words on the pages, looked at the illustrations, and then they started drawing sharks of their own. The assignment was very simple. They just drew their own shark. I asked them to name their shark and then we labeled any parts that they decided to draw along with their shark. So they found a shark and do you know what they're trying to do? Study the shark. Yes, they're trying to study the shark. Cameron just asked me what the lines were on the side of the shark and I told him that those are the shark's gills. So let's see if we can figure out what the gills are for. Let's see if there's something in here that'll help us find out what the gills are for. Okay. Look how I'm drawing a shark. She weighs. So we've got this page that says taking a breath. Page 16. 16. So let's go to page 16. Let's go all the way here to page 16. And this is where they talk about the shark taking a breath. What gills. does that say? A shark's gills are made for rows of thi thing, feathery. This makes the big surface area for taking in oxygen. The oxygen passes into carpalates. Good capillaries. Then thin tubes thin tubes full of blood inside the flat excellent so savannah is drawing her shark here it has There's feet no fin at the bottom. feet feet oh feet. that's the fin that she he uses and then the feet when he has when he has okay. when he's slow Taking a breath, just like humans, sharks need oxygen to stay alive. But instead of lungs for breathing in oxygen from the air, they have gills. The gills absorb dissolved oxygen from the water. The oxygen passes into the blood, which carries it around the body to help convert the shark's food into energy. This process also produces a waste gas called carbon dioxide. The blood carries this gas back to the gills, which release it into the water. That is how sharks breathe. She shark. My shark's name is Lila. Okay, so your shark's name is Lila. Yes. Okay. Oh, 
What I'm about not... you, Kendall? What is your shark's name? Chompy. Chompy. We decided that we would stop there and pick up tomorrow with building our shark. So Cameron just went ahead and um, tried to complete a few extra sentences in his story because of course he attaches stories to anything he does. So after he did his illustration, he had a full-blown story to go along with it and he is just finishing a little bit of that up there. So that was how we spent a part of our day today. What are you guys doing in your homeschool days this December? Again, thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow.